General Manager at the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority, Lyndon Robertson, says this has become a huge challenge for them. However, he says they continue to work to raise awareness and compliance from the general public. The IT department acquired a drone and we also acquired trail cameras that we would be using in order to gather the evidence so that we could take it to the level of um, prosecution. Um, there are some what we call hotspots throughout the country and we would be setting up these um, monitoring systems at these hotspots. We experimented with it uh, before and um, we were challenged with regards to the, the battery life and um, the frequent recording. Uh, recently, we acquired the solar units for the continuous um, power supply to these uh, cameras. Robertson says no one has been prosecuted. On Friday, the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority joined forces with members of the constituency, Ministry of Tourism, and contractor for the area, then Waste Limited, to clean up garbage dumped along Halifax Bay in Perseverance St. George. It's part of activities to mark World Environment Day observed on June 5th. Nikolai Boyk, Assistant Public Relations Officer at the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority, says World Environment Day is not only about raising awareness on how we impact the environment, but also a call to action. We encourage, we encourage um, the public to be aware of, of their surroundings. Um, one of the reasons that we see this huge quantities of waste being disposed of here is obviously the practice of improper waste disposal. So we are encouraging persons um, when they when they hire private waste haulers to take their waste to the landfill to call us at the authority. Um, just give us a call and we will tell you what time the truck came into the landfill, what day the truck came into the landfill and how much weight, what was the weight of the waste disposed of at the landfill. So that way you know that yes you paid someone to bring your waste to the landfill and it was delivered to the landfill. So we encourage persons to feel free give us a call and Tell us the truck that is coming and we will and we will give you the information that you require. He explained what will be done when the waste is collected. So once the waste is collected, it will be disposed of at the at the landfill. Um, the metal waste. The metal waste will be separated and placed into the waste baler, which will be crushed and sent out for recycling purposes. The general manager, Mr. Robertson, says they have contemplated changing the opening hours for the landfill and are holding discussion with other stakeholders. However, for now, operating hours remain 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sundays and public holidays, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Christina John, GBN News.